Hi everyone, Scott Davenport here. In this on one short clip, I wanna talk about noise reduction. The noise reduction filter in effects and using that in combination with blending modes and with luminosity masks to really give you the most control over what areas of your image get the noise reduction without having to do an elaborate amount of masking. So I have this photo here that I took at quite a high ISO, 3200. And when I zoom in here at 100%, we're gonna see where there's plenty of noise. So we can see lots of noise, especially in the shadow areas, some in the highlight areas. Now there's these details here in some of the, uh, the, the you know, architectural work here I wanna keep. I don't wanna lose that when I go and do noise reduction. So let me just add, and turn on my noise reduction filter. This is the default for the filter. We can already see that it's improving quite a bit, uh, but I want to increase the reduction so that these shadows get smoother. Now, as I do this, I'm starting to lose some of the detail over in the highlight areas, particularly on this archway here. Let me turn this off and back on. Some of the seams between you know, this uh, red faux brickwork is disappearing. How I can control that is down here we have an apply to choice. And this is the same types of choices we have when you go into your blending options where you can apply to everything. Since this is so common to do with noise reduction, I only want to apply to the shadows, for example. And then with the range slider, I start to say, well, what is shadow? When I start to increase this up, you're gonna see that this major arch is getting much uh, nice reduction in the noise, but I'm not losing the detail here. I can tolerate more noise in the highlights. I can tolerate it less in the shadows. And so as I increase this up and play around with things, we can kind of fine tune it. Let me zoom back out to 100%. And so what we've done here is you're gonna see that the, the noise in the shadow areas is much better. We can even take this a step further by adding a luminosity mask. I'm gonna to go to mask, create luminosity mask. Now luminosity mask is going to create a black and white version of your photo, but apply that as a mask. And so dark areas are masked away bright areas are maintained. I press the O key and we can see this is the mask. This is a view of the mask. I will change my view mode to red so you can really see that this is the mask. And so everywhere that's a very dark red, I am removing the noise reduction and everywhere that's bright, I have noise reduction applied. This is the exact opposite of what I want for this image because I want to reduce the noise in the shadow areas. So I will go mask invert and now what I'm doing is I'm getting lots and lots of noise reduction applied to the shadow areas and I'm further protecting the highlights by masking away the noise reduction. Let me turn off my overlay here. And so now again, zooming back in at 100%, we're going to see that I have nice, good noise reduction in the shadow areas. I'm still picking up my noise reduction here and I'm really further protecting these highlight areas. One more time, mask going on can see I'm really protecting these highlight areas, not applying masking there and focusing it in just on the shadows. And from here, now that I have good solid noise reduction in just the areas I want to, I can go and apply all the other types of filters that I might normally do so I can get a more complete image. So next time you're looking at doing noise reduction, check out those areas of apply to shadows, mid-tones, highlights, whatever you need to do, as well as looking at luminosity masks to help you even further control where that noise reduction is applied.